Good morning. We are so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back all the days. Today is a super special day because we are celebrating our five year wedding anniversary one week early, actually on Sarah's parents' actual anniversary. And I think I might go get a tattoo like right now. I've been up for a few hours. I was working earlier. Sarah's up now. She's editing. Um, relax morning. We have some food reservations later that we'll bring you along with, but I'm going to go see about doing a walk-in reservation for a tattoo. So, uh, let's go. I just parked. I'm over at the Atomic Tattoos on Dean Road. My friend Jared has come here for the last couple, at least three tattoos he, he has gotten. He sent me photos this morning. Um, gave me the name of his artist. I don't know if his artist is working today, but I at least trust that he has come here. Um, so time to go check this out. This might be the last time you see my arm like this. We are done, done, done. Well, I'm getting myself situated. I gotta put my hat back on. I gotta put my, my sunnies on. It is two o'clock, um, about um, as much time as I thought it would take. It took a lot of time to get it all planned out and stenciled and everything because of it being an armband and everything. Um, it's covered right now, but at three o'clock I can uncover it and wash it real good. And so you'll see it then, but I'm super happy with it. Evie wants the treats. Evie, oh, she heard me say that. All right, it's three o'clock, I'm home. Mm -hmm. My arm is still wrapped and Sarah has not seen the final product, but I think I we're gonna FaceTime it. I did you and Here got to see a lot. Um, I'm really happy with it. Have you explained what we're doing today? No. So. We know I did this morning. We're celebrating our anniversary today. I just yes. didn't, I didn't say where we're going. Gotcha. But we are going to Epcot. We have two different reservations because we want different foods from different places, different experiences. Um, so once you're able to take that off, are we gonna go? I gotta take it off, we gotta wash it, and then I gotta do my hair. Okay. And then we're gonna go. Cool. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Right, so like the lines aren't perfect. But I think because they're not perfect, and they're not perfect throughout, I yeah. think I like that. Yeah. Like I don't want to necessarily, like, we'll look at it as it heals and stop swelling, uh -huh. but we'll look at it and be like, Let's get her to touch up that because it's a little too different yeah. kind of a thing. Like we went through it and tried to eyeball it, but it was also hard because like the swellings yeah. is apparent. <laughs> Do you like it? Good. Yeah. Do you like it? I love it. I love it's it so, so much. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. We made it. My magic band matches my tattoo. Oh gosh. <laughs> also, we had a drive all the way back home after we were already on our way because we realized we didn't pay our rent check. All right, we were not only on our way, we were basically three minutes away from Epcot and had to turn around. Yep, but. But we remembered. Yeah. Boo. What is that blimp it's doing? It's a Goodyear blimp. Don't you love these symbols? Because I know I Oh, it feels good to be in the World Showcase. Yeah, and we really like, we we came here a couple of days and now we went a whole week, so it feels like extra good. Yeah, it does look busier and I guess this morning it was real busy. So we'll see how it feels for us, but we also have the added benefit of we have two dinner reservations that we're going to do tonight. So it's kind of like we're hopping from restaurant to restaurant. Right. It's a very hot day, like getting ready for that brutal Florida summer. But there's just enough breeze to make it enjoyable. So we're going to ask for if we have it, a seat by the water. But I think it looks like there's a table in the corner, but I don't know if it's like social distance table. But we're eating first entrees and drinks at Spice Road table. So we got seated right away. Right. And all Sarah wanted was a seat by the water. And I asked, Sarah asked for it. And she goes, we well, got an inside and out service. And I was like, wait, I didn't even know this inside existed. Right. And so it's nice because there's air conditioning and we get the water. And privacy. Yeah. Now if this was only I'm illuminations. With these chairs. <laughs> so here is the menu and lots of drinks. 
some small plates. We are going to get the vegetable platter. It is plant-based as is. But I really wanted to show you this side. It has this nice little history. All roads lead to the spice road table. So good. We're doing two places today. I did do, we're doing the Cellier after this. I did that with the Air Hearts that Peter has in, so it's like two new experiences. And maybe some, some festival yeah. stuff. Sorry, I, it's weird. I feel like I used to not being able to put my arm on stuff right now. Yeah, just there's for a couple of days. Two, two to three days. Right, so there's the beer options, and I asked our server, like, I like hoppy beer, but I like all kinds of beer. But I was, whenever I try, like, beers from somewhere else, I just say, like, what's the best kind? And he said the Kaza. He said they're all good. But the Kaza beer is, is the best. I like that beer glass. Yeah. I, I want to get new glasses that are exactly like this. Why don't we just order four, five Margos and we'll steal them? <laughs> this is really good. It's um, pineapple juice, strawberry puree, and orange water. Did you just read that or did you memorize that? I read it, but I can read really fast. <laughs> Goodness, so we have the hummus fries, the stuffed grape leaves, hummus and olives, couscous salad, and pita. I am pumped. It smells so good. I'm nervous to say that I'm full. Really? It was just we so got good. Lots of eating to do. I know, but we're so we came up with a game plan because we were like, it's our five year anniversary. We're gonna do whatever we want, but usually that means eating too much food. It's really hot. We want to take it slow. It's windy because of you know a hurricane coming our way, but it's still super hot. We're gonna hit the like it's gonna get the edge. Yeah, but we'll get the wind and yeah. some rain. Um, but we came up with a plan instead of getting our each of our own pieces from the festival at um, what's that booth called? Just Africa. The Africa booth. Um, instead of getting our own, we're going to share one because then we're going to make our way, mosey our way to Trowel and Trellis to get impossible stuff. We yes. might get our own, we might share, and then we'll be by Canada for dinner dinner. Yeah, but that's not until 8. So yeah, we got two time. and a half hours to mosey and have two pieces of festival. So I think between being like slightly full here, walking in the sweaty hotness, and munching, we'll be it'll be good. And then we can always control what we order at the celly. No, Everything! No self-control. We stopped in the Germany to get some AC and potentially to buy another box of pretzel mix. Sarah didn't know that until just now. Nope. But I wanted to show them Mickey and Minnie. They're so cute. I don't think I saw them last time. And we just had the realization that we're nervous that, well one, we don't know if we're going to be able to go to Chris Kindle Market in Chicago this year. And two, they're probably not going to have it. Right. And it's really hard because like a lot of the stores there make 80% of their revenue. So there's a cheese place that I'm going to research and we're gonna buy a bunch of cheese from and just give to the people <laughs> yeah. if they're gonna do online. But the thing is, I don't know if they do online sales. Right, but they like, so many places rely on Chris Kindle markets to sell their products. Right, they literally told us before, like a couple, it was like five years ago, they were like, they make in those two months, 80% of the revenue for the entire year. That's crazy. You can't survive if you don't get to right. do that. so if you don't have it, what do you do? We'll find out and we'll buy it and we're gonna ask you to buy the cheese too. <laughs> We're coming here for the spicy Kenyan vegan corn and white beans. This smells like food and wine. I feel like the plating is even more gorgeous today. Let's see. I don't think Sarah showed. We're literally hiding behind this clothes off thing from the <laughs> sun and from humanity. Heavenly? So good. Oh, if we weren't eating so much tonight, I would've gotten two of those. I don't want to share. Sometimes. Sharing, not sharing, is caring. True. It is busier in these here parts of the World Showcase. But we're just transitioning through. I tell you, the vegan corn and white bean piece from that pavilion is quite possibly top three, maybe top two favorite items. Ever. In, ever. Like it is so good and it's such good quality and it's such good size. Sarah's new goal is like go home and see if we can find that recipe because Disney Parks blog has been posting recipes for things during all of the quarantine and COVID. I don't think they posted that one, but that's or the new hunt. If not, Chef Kate was super pumped Thank that I was thanking them Just for such a great more. thing and Please, maybe we can talk one of them into telling us what the that. recipe is. We came in for some AC and thought, why not? <laughs> Okay, we're at Earth Eats. 
not trowel and trellis anymore. We're getting one impossible meatball and one slider. Ooh la la. One and one? It's bigger than I expected I for know. the slider. It's yummy. Okay, which one did you like more? The slider. Really? Yeah. I like the meatball. The which is funny because, meatball more because I said I was going to take one bite of the slider. You said you were going to take one bite of the meatball. And when I, I even like when I, I got confused, like I saw it and knew I wanted it. And I BRB! Sorry about that. There was the standard health message. Announcement. But yeah, Peter thought that he was getting the burger and I was getting the slider, but it was actually the opposite. But turns out, I'm not big on wasabi. Is it wasabi or horseradish? I think it was, horse, one, I think it was horseradish. Neither one I enjoy. And so I think that's why you probably liked it more. So, so next time we know. We're gonna go and see if we can I find- I like both, but I just like the slider. We're gonna see if we can find a piece of jewelry Sarah's been eyeing at mouse gears. And I wanna point out, I'm gonna pat myself on the back for being an adult, actually. And ever since everything happened with the parks reopening, I've done such a good job on not touching, hitting, or poking things like rails, decorations, facades, just the walls, because that is, that's what I do. I just like smack things for no reason. And I shouldn't do that right now. And you haven't done it. And I've, I've, uh, I'm like 90% good. But then I've, I always like clean up after. <laughs> Okay, no luck on the jewelry, but we're gonna. We might go to Magic Kingdom soon and see. We got a bench. And we're gonna enjoy the windy breeze before dinner. And look at that terrible Goodyear. I'm convinced it's because of soccer games, but I'm gonna look it up. But I don't like seeing that blimp in here. Sarah fibbed, and we were enjoying our view. And I was like, "Wait, is it eight o'clock?" And she's like, "It's. I think it's eight ten. Check the app." And I checked the app. It was seven fifty. So now we're late to our reservation. <laughs> <laughs> I may be vegan, but I'm still very excited to eat here because I've literally never eaten here and I've, I don't think I've seen the inside of this restaurant yeah. either. I can't wait for you to and see And I feel it. like it's my vibes. Yeah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Our table's ready. Gorgeous. Okay. Ooh, it's dark in here. I got a Windsor Old Fashioned. It's got chocolate bitters in there and orange bitters, but it's got Canadian whiskey. Ooh. So I had to get it. Yeah. Take a sip. That's really good. Yeah? Yummy? Yeah. Here is my fancy drink. It's a raspberry lime spritzer. So even though um, our anniversary is next week, today is my mom and dad's real anniversary. So cheers, cheers to my parents. To an inspiring marriage. I know we referenced Colorado or Alaska or Chicago, but all the plans have been dropped and we're moving to Canada. <laughs> Nova Scotia or Vancouver, put your comment down below and you guys are picking. Guys, I did it. I ordered beer cheese soup. Your belly is gonna hurt. Who knows how my belly will feel, but sometimes when you want something or need something, it, you just make it happen. I'm only plant-based for me. We got maple whiskey Brussels sprouts. Those smell so good. And we got Asian Impossible dumplings. Yes. <gasps> Look at this vegetable. The bok choy. I love it. Peter and I call each other bok choy. Yeah, I didn't realize that was a plant until you just said that. Really? Yeah. Wow. Here is plant-based carrot cake. A little congratulations is chocolate, so that's not plant-based. But... But I love Canada. Yeah. We are Canadian. We are Canadian. We have finished our dinner. Look at that moon! It's gotta be a planet above it. Are you so full? I'm so full and it was so delicious. All of it. Yeah. We honestly like the entree, the dumplings weren't our favorite part. But like the whole overall experience, the Brussels sprouts, the carrot cake. It yeah, was the all... entree definitely is not bringing me back. Yeah, but, but everything else. The Brussels sprouts. <laughs> I'll come back and just get like three orders of the Brussels sprouts as my entree. Yeah, so good. Peter just spent, I don't even know how many minutes, explaining the beauty of the colors. The refracting lights on Spaceship Earth at nighttime. Yeah, it is pretty glorious. And this view is just... I never ah. want them to change this walkway. And I don't think they're going to. I don't think they're going to either. But if they do, I'm never coming here again. Well, I got a fun package in the mail from our friends Karen and Kayla and these leggings were in them and so I'm wearing them. They're very comfy. Evie 
is so concerned with our mustard. So here is the sweet Bavarian style mustard. Then this one is just mild hot German mustard. Both were four bucks, but with our discount they were, together they were five. So that is what we got from the German pavilion tonight. What do you think, Eve? You want some mustard? It is August 1st, my parents' wedding anniversary. We have two messages today. The world sees you. The world hopes for you. The world is inspired by you. The world can be better because of you. Do Zantamata. And now for today's message. Sight not what's near while aiming at what's far. Europedes. Oh, night night, Evers. I had an allergic reaction to Eve. Peter is starting to feel a little sore. Just a little bit. So, hopefully you get good sleep tonight. I should. Um... I think I picked out uh, another lens that we could get in the next two months. Wow. That Sarah approved, I think. Ooh. We'll do a little bit more research, but it's a, it's from the same series of this lens that we use now. It's from just yeah. bigger background. Yeah. Gotta capture our little so we're baby. Have three heads soon <laughs> in a regular shot. Oh my gosh. So we need a wider lens. Yeah. Alrighty, friends. Tomorrow is our last day before we really. And we don't have any plans to go out, but we need to. Uh, before our trip to Chicago, Let's so. Got a park pass right now. Maybe I'll take a look. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>